This local sports report is presented by the Inn of Waterloo, a proud supporter of local sports. The Inn is open and is now offering gym and pool memberships to the KW community. Book a room, hit the gym, and go for a swim at the Inn, located at 475 King Street North in Waterloo. Call 519-804-1130 or visit theinnofwaterloo.com. Let's head to Warrior Field for OUA football. It's the Waterloo Warriors home opener on Sunday night. The Warriors playing in front of a packed home crowd looking to defend their turf. Visiting the Warriors, the York Lions. The Lions making the trip to Waterloo looking to come home with a win. Jumping right to the kickoff and how about this start for the York Lions. It's a clean kickoff reception from Alfred Olay. He tucks the ball and starts downfield. The blocks open a hole right through the middle and Olay is off to the races. He's in no man's land and he opens the game up with a kickoff return touchdown. So it's 7-0 Lions right off the rip. The Warriors with the ball now look to respond. Nick Orr looks deep downfield for James Basiliga. James is wide open in the middle and he's good for a 63 yard reception and a Waterloo Warriors touchdown. So we're all tied up at 7-7. Later in the first quarter, now 8-7 Warriors, the line's back in Warriors territory looking to keep pace. Owen Webb spots out Retson Daly in the corner. Diego Arenas takes him out at the Warriors two yard line. The Lions would need a finisher, and a couple downs later, it's Owen Webb over the top for Dane Uzdebski for a Lions touchdown. So it's 14-8 Lions. The Warriors offense back in the picture now, and it's a great rush from Anthony Miller. He finds a hole and brings the Rock 32 yards to the York 15, and Waterloo set up to retake the lead. Later on that same possession, the Warriors on second and goal from the 15-yard line. Nick Orr spins out left, sees nothing, and takes it himself. It's a slick move from Orr. He beats a pair of Lions, and he's over the line for the touchdown. What an effort from Orr, and it's 15-14 Warriors. The Lions back with the ball now here on second down, but look out for the Warriors on defense. Kalen Frazier steps around the blocker and hunts down the QB for a huge sack. He's feeling himself, and the Warriors turn the ball over. Late in the quarter, now the Warriors defense forced another punt. Look out for Justin Sucker on the reception. He flies downfield, keeps his feet moving, and breaks into open space. And Sucker's in there for a 62-yard punt return touchdown. So the Warriors take a 22-14 lead. Jumping to the third quarter, now 22-17 Waterloo. The Warriors back with the ball. Nick Orr looks deep down the near sideline for James Basiliga. Basiliga makes the catch, and he won't be caught. That's his second TD of the night and his 28-17 Warriors. And the Warriors offense would keep coming. Here's Quinton Springer on the carry for the Warriors. He may be a rookie, but he doesn't look like it. He brings it to the house and it's 35-17 Warriors. The Warriors finding success on the handoff and later in the quarter, it's more from Anthony Miller. It's a big run down the middle for Miller. He's good for 34 yards as he brings the rock all the way to the York 10. And on the next down, they give it back to Miller. He bulldozes to the end zone, and the Warriors extend their lead to 25. The York Lions keep the fight up, and it's Owen Webb going deep again for Retson Daly. It's a 54-yard reception for Daly, and the Lions would convert. Avante McCoy dives over top for the touchdown, so it's 43-25 Waterloo. In the fourth quarter, now more from Quinton Springer. He takes off right and leaps into the end zone for another touchdown, and the Warriors make it a clean 50. Later in the quarter, now and here's the silver lining for York. Watch the reception from Avante McCoy. It's a one-handed beauty from Avante. He brings the York score to 32, but with 53 on the board for the Warriors, it's a Waterloo Warriors win. They take it in their home opener by a final score of 53-32 on Sunday night.